Well, Flushing, Queens is one of the most diverse neighborhoods in the world. International crowds are going to flock to that area starting Monday for the U.S. Open. Of course, a lot of people go out there for a ball game. And residents want to show folks that there's a lot more to Flushing than just a great tennis venue or a Mets game. The Discover Flushing neighborhood walking tours begin on that same day. They're free. They're offered by the Greater Flushing, Greater Flushing beg your pardon, Chamber of Commerce, and they are looking for volunteers to help them out. And here to talk about that is John Cho. He is the executive director of the Chamber. Welcome. Welcome, John. Good morning. Good to have you here. Thank you so much. You know, it's so true. Even though this is like the second busiest stop, the seven train, right? Right yes. on, on Main Street, the second mm -hmm. busiest stop in the, in, in the five boroughs outside yes. of Manhattan. Very few people know what all Flushing has to offer. So you're here to tell us. Absolutely. Oh. All right. Flushing is actually one of the most diverse places in the planet, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. but also has history going back to the 1600s. Uh, has amazing shopping destinations and for a lot of foodies they love to come to Flushing and discover all the great amazing food that you can taste and sample. Well how are we going to get them to stop? To get off the train and, and instead of going to the game or to the tennis center to stop in the Flushing? You, you're asking for volunteers to come in and, and, and give people these walking tours. Sure. We, know we have a lot of neighborhood pride in Flushing mm -hmm. and we want people to, especially young people, to come and be engaged mm -hmm. and to learn about the community but then to share that information with people coming from around the world to visit the U.S. Open. Uh, it's only a one stop away on the 7 train. <laughs> and you talk about um, the birthplace of religious freedom. I find it fascinating that the uh, the old Quaker meeting house there on Northern Boulevard, yes. th that's what you're talking about. I mean, the abolitionist movement got its roots, it had its roots there, yes. as well as, as as you said, some of the first sure. recorded uh, documented support for religious freedom was, can be found right there. Sure. Flushing was part of the Underground Railroad. Uh, it's one of the first settlements of African Americans in New York. And, you know, civil rights, women's suffrage, all of those movements started in Flushing with Quakers coming in and helping to promote religious freedom. And you were also the site of one of the first botanical gardens in the five boroughs. Yes. The one, everybody goes to the Bronx, but sure. you're talking about the Queens Botanical Garden. We have right? an amazing botanical garden at Queens uh, in Flushing, mm -hmm. and it's actually the legacy of the World's Fairs in 1964. Right, and at, even the, prior to that, I think, right? Yes. And your town hall? Washington opened during the Civil War. Who knew? Yes. It's, an it's on the National Register of Historic Places, and right? And there's some amazing places to, to look inside. There's a jail inside there. There's a lot of things that people don't know in Flushing. Um, you know, uh, we have uh, people from around the world who speak a hundred languages, uh, <laughs> who have all these cuisines and cultural uh, practices that you may not know about, but it's right there um, a minute away from uh, the U.S. tennis. But the food is a big draw. Absolutely. We have had chefs like Anthony Bourdain come and discover uh, <coughs> Flushing uh, as a foodie destination. Mm -hmm. And we want to really uh, provide an, a welcome mat to people coming and say, hey, uh, you want to discover Flushing? Here's your opportunity. So with the, these folks who want to come and volunteer to take people on a walking tour, sure. how do they do that? They can contact the Greater Flushing Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we have a website. Uh, FlushingFantastic.nyc, mm -hmm. where you can uh, get a lot of contact information and learn about our campaign. All right. John Cho, Flushing Chamber of Commerce, thank you so much thank for coming in. Thank you so much in. for having me. It sounds like a good trip to Flushing's in my future. All right. Appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. We'll be right back.